Hi everybody, today we're going to answer the question, should you use an online lender? Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Wayne Chang with Wayne Chang and Associates and today we're gonna to answer the question, should you use an online lender? What are the pros and cons? So there's definitely a pro to using an online lender and most of the time the reason people will look into an online lender is because the interest rates are generally a little bit lower. So when you're online shopping around for rates, it's common to see a lender maybe offering a quarter percent lower than what your local banks or local lenders might be offering. So that's very tempting. So that's definitely a pro, as long as they don't bait and switch you into some other higher interest rate once you're in escrow. So that's the main pro of using an online lender. Now you wanna be careful because when you're using an online lender, there's a few risks. So here are the cons. Number one, uh, they're usually, the, the, the place that they process their loan is usually not in the same state as where you need to buy a home. So because they're in another state, sometimes they're not 100% familiar with the local requirements, the underwriting, and, and the other criteria that you need to satisfy to close your loan. So that's sometimes a danger and it can drag out your loan uh, approval date and your, and your escrow close date. So that leads us into the second risk, which is what I find with a lot of online lenders is that they don't follow the contract dates and contingency dates very closely because they may not be familiar with all of the underwriting uh, rules and, and uh, contingencies and things like that. They, a lot of times, don't meet the loan contingency and appraisal deadlines and sometimes don't meet the escrow deadlines. And when that happens, you put your deposit at risk. So that's something that you wanna be careful of. And thirdly, sometimes because they're located out of state or somewhere else, sometimes they're even a call center, um, you might run into a delay when trying to get an answer for something. Local lenders usually respond to your phone calls a lot faster and they oftentimes just give you their cell phone so they're reachable 24 seven, just like I am. But a lot of outside of state and online lenders don't give you their cell phone, only a business line that you can reach between the hours of you know nine to five. So when that happens, you run the risk of every time you, you, you ask a question, it takes an extra day to answer it and you're running into delays. So those are the risks associated with using an online lender. Now, when should you use an online lender? When time is not of the essence. So when is that? When you're refinancing. So when you're in escrow buying a house, you're under very tight timelines. I suggest you go with a local direct lender to get the job done on time and with good service. And then after close of escrow, if you choose to at a later point in time, then when you're not under time restraints and restrictions, refinance to a lower rate and use an online lender because it can take 30, 45, 60 days, doesn't matter. As long as you get the rate that you want and you got it locked in, they can take as long as they want and you're really not under any kind of uh, danger, okay? So hopefully that answers your questions. If you guys have any other topics you would like me to talk about, just let me know. Just contact me at the phone number below or just shoot me an email. And again, this is Wayne Chang with Wayne Chang and Associates. Thanks and have a great day.